Cause you feeling me If not you feel my energy See I know I'ma make it But even if I don't, don't feel bad Cause honestly all these times that I had Those will be the best memories Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to TGTV. So, welcome to the brand new Legends Fantasy Series, aka Custom Series, where we'll be taking on the role of the Seattle Spartans, as you guys can see from the title. Let me know down below what you think of that name. Also guys, on the screen right now, you'll see the four potential logos. I want you guys to let me know in a straw poll in the description, which is the best color logo. I'm leaning towards the green and white one or the blue and white one. I like the green and white for Seattle, but at the same time, it kind of reminds me too much of Michigan State Spartans. Either way, though, I'm really down for whichever you guys are feeling. But I have everything set up here. We got injuries on. We got on Hall of Fame. We've got uh, we got no salary cap. You guys suggested that. We got a fantasy draft. So, guys, we're going to be using the Nick Smith roster for this Legends draft. If you guys don't know who Nick Smith is, I don't know where you guys have been. Make sure to subscribe to him. I'll put a link to him in the description. He also just helped me out with the brand new NBA TGTV channel, which if you guys have not subscribed to that, make sure to subscribe to a brand new second channel, playing out daily videos. So, here we go. Let's see how we do on the draft order. Number eight. That is amazing. Oh, my God. I will take that. We've had a lot of good luck with these. All right, ooh, I was kind of hoping we could roll with Kobe. Man, who do we want to roll with for the first pick? This is a tough, I feel like, I kind of want Allen Iverson. I'll be honest with you. I think a lot of you guys said that you wanted to see an amazing point guard, that that was something that I had a theme on my channel for a while, that we had just like crazy good point guards, but we also have a really dominant player inside. I'm going to go with Allen Iverson. I think he's going to be a really exciting player to bring to the Spartans. Um... Man, this is tough though. Oscar Robertson too is another amazing point guard. Allen Iverson can play both positions. I really like that. Robertson can too, but man, this is a tough decision. What are the ages here? Allen ah, Iverson's 25. I gotta take him, man. I think offensively he's gonna bring so much to this team. I'm excited. I'm very excited about that pickup though. And now looking here, who do we got, man? We could bring in Vintage Mellow. We could also bring in Yao Ming. I think Yao Ming would be fun. Dominique Wilkins continued to add to this exciting offense. Or we bring in Stockton, our kid, and would bring in two amazing guards right there. I'm going to go with Neek, man. I want, man, we would just be highlight after highlight, ankle breaker, posterizer. We would just be hitting the highlights all over the place, man. Dominique Wilkins, give me that. And maybe one of those guys will still be available. That leaves a Shaq. There's going to be multiple Shaqs around the league. I don't want to be playing Shaq on Shaq, but, I mean, somebody's going to have to play Shaq on Shaq when you look at it. Um, wow, so, yeah, I mean, I think he's probably our best choice here. When you really take a look at this, yeah, let's get Shaq. He's a little bit on the older side at 33 years old, but, I mean, man, Shaq will be killing it inside for us. Give me that pick right there. I really like that pick. I saw Kyrie go by, man. So we're starting to get some more current players here. Who do we want next? Probably another guard or a forward. Chris Webber could be our guy. I really would not mind bringing him in. Or you bring in one of these guys, get Dame. I actually talked about maybe getting Dame. This way we could keep Iverson at shooting guard, and I would actually really like that. And we could bring in Dame to play points. <sighs> We've had Dame a lot in the past, but man, that could be exciting. Hold on, we gotta look at these options though. I'm actually really liking Weber, and but I also don't like the idea of just holding out so long for a point guard. There's also Baron Davis. Actually, I'm gonna go with Baron Davis just because of the fact that you don't get this chance always to be using legends. And um, who knows how long the series will last, but I wanna take advantage of what I can and get some legends in here. So we're gonna take Baron Davis to be playing the point for us. And now back on the clock, we still got Chris Weber here. I say we complete the starting lineup, throw Weber out there. I think that's an awesome pickup. And we're cruising through this draft so far. I don't want this to be too fast of a video. Looking at what we got up here next, we got Mike Conley, the $30 million man. Pfft, yeah, right. Uh, next pick is kind of tough. Michael Cooper is an unbelievable defender. I've learned that from the streams. That could be invaluable to our team. If we got him and he's actually I'm kind of leaning that way right now bringing in such a good defensive guard would just be incredible for us and 
I think I'm gonna do it. He's also a pretty good shooter, so I'm liking Michael Cooper as a pickup. Next pick. See, we try to get another big, probably. DeAndre could be that guy. I'm not 100% sure. We could get Al Horford, who just signed with the Boston Celtics, which is amazing. Or Alonzo Mourning. How old is Horford now? 29? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go with Al Horford, man. I think he's gonna be really impressive for this team. Bring in a nice backup center. So now we're gonna need a wing player to bring it off the bench. Absolutely. And that left Schrempf could be a good option. Who else do we got out here? Jerome Kersey's also a pretty good option. He's a good defender on the perimeter. Um, yeah, he's just a, he's a very solid option, actually. Let's see. Wes Matthews, no way. Victor Oladipo might be kind of fun. Jerome Kersey or Detlef Schrempf. Detlef's going to be draining the threes. We might need that off the bench now that I think of it, but... The three-year deal for Jerome Kersey, I actually really like him with no salary cap. I don't mind bringing in $18 million a year. So, Jerome, you are on the squad. Welcome to the team, bro. And next pick, we've got Detlef still available. And he could probably play shooting guard, couldn't he? Or no, actually, he's a little bit on the taller side, 6'9". So, let's see, could Jerome play shooting guard? No, he's also a little bit on the taller side. So, we're definitely going to need a shooting guard but we could always, and we need another point guard too. This is where I gotta really start thinking about things. I don't wanna screw this decision up. Um, Mo Cheeks? Nah, I'm not feeling Mo Cheeks. Casey Jones is an insane defender at point guard. I want him out there. We will be a very good, solid defensive team. I like that. We gotta pick a shooting guard on this pick though. And John Starks, I wouldn't hate that pick. Bring in Kyle Korver. A little bit on the older side. JJ Redick, you guys know I'm a big JJ Redick guy. I say we bring him aboard. That might we may have picked him a little bit early, but that's okay. Um next pick now. Let's take a look at the team. What do we need here? Taking a look at this squad, we got two great point guards, three great shooting guards, two good small forwards. Really need to bring some bigs in here, I think. And looking at our options for bigs, Marching or Tot. I'm not in love with that option. We have to go all the way down to Tim Faye Mozgov. Kevin Duckworth, really good inside score. Doesn't bring a lot else. He might just be our best option in this case. And uh, how's his rebounding? Rebounding's okay. We got to bring in a big right here, though. So I'm taking Duckworth, man. Like I said, I want to take advantage of the fact that we're doing the Legends draft. I don't know if I'm one of these or how many or how long this one's going to go. Excuse me. So got to take advantage when we get the opportunity to take a legend and uh baron davis casey jones jj reddick all loving this team so far along with al horford we should try to get another power forward right here and then really that last pick is just gonna be kind of a wild card pick i think we can do a lot with that ed davis charles oakley thad young looking at the options i would say in this case i probably want to take thad young i think that's a really good option for us off the bench uh i like the guy i think he's a good player and now with our 13th pick, we got one final pick. Who are we going to take? I would say probably, ooh, wow. Maybe a guy who can double on the wing. I think that might be my favorite choice here. And let's get Del Curry, man. One more knockdown shooter to add to this roster. And that was our final pick, correct? So if you ask me, I actually think that was an incredibly productive draft. I think we got a lot of great guys and we filled a lot of holes. Uh, we're going to use the regular draft class. I know it's going to be a little weird with Legends, but trying to keep everything else kind of the same. Next episode, we'll be doing relocating, rebranding. Guys, you do not want to miss that. Make sure to vote in the straw poll for which logo you want. But let's take a quick look at what the rotation looks like and if we need to make, it, if we, excuse me, if we need to make any moves. So, Reddick doesn't make the cut exactly. Neither does Duckworth or Curry or Thad Young, but a lot of guys, a lot of good guys we could bring in in case they're needed. That starting lineup is going to be fun to watch, though. Guys, before we get out of this episode, I want to talk briefly about what my plans are for this series. I'm hoping to go two, maybe three seasons with it, and then if we like it, keep going or even make another one, or we go back to the other custom series style with just regular. You guys let me know, though, each episode, how you're liking it. If it's getting boring, let me know how to switch it up, and I will. Before we get out, let's look at the power rank and see how we did. And, oh, those are based on last year. So we'll sim through one game, and I think that way it updates it, doesn't it? So let's see how the Thunder did. 
and power rankings okay it doesn't change sorry it'll change over the week guys thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't hope you guys enjoy this make sure to check out tgtv nba the brand new second channel based on real nba news and i will catch you guys next video peace i'm out